SOS-Radio Podcast. All paranormal, all the time. My name is Jason Knight. I'm standing here with Sean, Head of Maintenance for the Sunset View Inn in Alamo, Nevada. Well, listeners, viewers, I definitely suggest if you're traveling through Nevada, hunting aliens, seeking ghosts, heading out to Area 51, Rachel, Nevada, any of the cool stuff that uh, you can do here uh, that pertains to what we do at Chicago's own Supernatural Current Cities, this is the place you need to stay. Uh, very friendly, very welcoming, clean, safe, fun place to stay. Uh, what highway are we on? 90, 93. I was going to say 93. So uh, we're Highway 93 uh, in Alamo, Nevada. Definitely stop here and stay. Well worth it. Reasonably priced as well. Enough about that. Um, why are we standing here with you today? Uh, I'm today with you guys. You know, introduce yourself about what you do and what you guys search for and, and things like that. And uh, got kind of a little hidden treasure, I guess you guys could say. We got this little little place out here about a mile out in the middle of nowhere on Nevada state land. The government doesn't own it or anything like that, and it's kind of creepy. And uh, I suppose, I mean, should I say more about it right now, or do you want to wait and reveal it as we go, or? Let's give them a high level overview, just very high level overview. Okay. Uh, possible. Um, well, it's a possible, I mean, the, the way it looks like when I found it and I discovered it, it looks like a possible homicide, um, possibly an old, maybe a murder or a death maybe or something like that that happened a long time ago there's some weird uh like travelers there's a traveler's pack there um I, I, yeah yeah it's just it's it's real creepy and like you'd have to kind of see it to, to understand more what i'm saying but there's a big cross there there's ground that's all up earth that's been dug up and stuff under the cross and there's this little hut this guy built there and he stayed here for about two weeks spent six hundred dollars of his own money and walked every piece of material out here he did not use a vehicle he did not use anything he left no trash out there he took all of his scraps back here and then left just disappeared disappeared never heard from him again and, and he was a, he was a union worker in between jobs i guess is what he said and and this this weird location is directly behind your hotel yes it's towards uh towards the p and um that's where i'm gonna be taking you guys today cool well let's go check out this uh, mysterious site and maybe the story will unravel as we go absolutely cool let's turn around and Get head going. out yeah we're just gonna kind of film the hike um i'll be recording uh, audio for the podcast SOS-Radio podcast SOS-Radio.com uh, So we're going to go hiking and see this uh, location Yes I'm, My Chicago came out I'm wearing sandals or as Oscar calls them chanclas There's a big enough um, group of us that if there are any like rattlesnakes or anything like that, they're scattered. Yeah, Alright, so in case the Tascam didn't pick it up, Sean was saying that we're a large enough group. If there are any rattlers up here, rattlesnakes, our noise will shag them off, scare them off. Before so. they have a chance to scatter, me and Joe will be harassing them. <laughs> yeah, you're an, you're, you're an idiot when it comes to that stuff. Oscar, you're good back there? That's the one that runs with their tails up. If you step closer to it, it's, see? Uh, oh, it's gone. It's a zebra tail lizard. Lizards all over. It's really cool. Especially if you bring the kids uh, to the Sunset View Inn. Right. Oh man, he's fast. Uh, they could go out lizard hunting and stuff. It's pretty cool. And mind some of the the beat upness. We've only been here since April taking it over from people that ran it into the ground. So, I see. So that's why this kind of stuff is getting packed up here and there. We're painting in the hallways, etc. So. Yeah, and Pam was saying, Pam, the acting owner at this point, uh, was saying you guys have some pretty cool plans in the store as far as uh, possible like UFO observation deck back here where people customers can sky watch at night uh, yep. which is pretty cool absolutely I haven't I was seen that before building a I was thinking about building a, like a little pub, a golf thing here too you know alien themed and uh, stuff like that you know it'd be pretty cool but anyway you go right behind our hotel here and as you can see there's nothing yeah. so that's what he was talking about P in this so you guys know we wish it stood for parking for aliens um it doesn't it stands for panthers uh that's the high school football team here in alamo oh sorry for the boring story no because we were wondering when we came in we're like oh it caused it that's so sorry. dave and joe are looking for snakes and other poisonous things 
I was waiting. Venomous. You know what I mean? Dude, my, my shoes were so packed. Spider hole. What is that? Spider hole. Yeah, Joe, let's pull it up. Yeah, you can see the web in it. Uh-oh. Spider hole. Is it on his hand in this? Yeah, right? Dude, it's hot. Why did I decide to do this? Yeah, it's really hot. It gets about... Uh, Hundreds, uh, the highest I've seen it here is like 100, like 18, 117. 117? Yeah, it's usually, they, they say it's usually hotter, hotter in Vegas, but I don't think so. See, I heard, oh, okay. And Sean, you also said uh, that there's a lot of arrowheads laying around too, right? Yep. People, there's there's arrowheads, there's Indian burial grounds, there's old like camps that they have that they- Out here? Just, yeah. Really? Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, you're not necessarily gonna find one right behind the hotel. You gotta go right, looking for right. it, you know? But, um, essentially what happened to this short story, um, settlers came here and pretty much took all the Native Americans and were like, you're going to the reservation. That's the reservation right now in Mesquite. And Mesquite, that uh, way. Mesquite, Nevada. Yeah, that way about hour and 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, and also, like, can they hear me? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I was gonna say, also, if you guys suggest and you want to come out here and maybe check this spot out and maybe do some filming or stuff like that, um, we don't mind. But come and let us know first, because we carry, and we don't like people on our property necessarily wandering around. Okay. You know? Good, so. ad good advice. Yeah, just just saying. Just and, But we're friendly. Just come up and check with us, and, you know, if you need to get a room, we can make a, a day trip out of it or something. You know? Cool. Sean, maybe something else for the hotel you could do is guided tours of the desert back here. Yeah, I, I was also thinking about that as well, but, you know, the guarantee of it's going to be so much trial and error to find where hey, some... Sean? Yes. Is that a Joshua tree? That is actually, if I'm correct, it is that or it is a yucca plant. Because I know, because yucca. yucca plants look like that. Like I yeah, said, but yuccas don't have leaves down. They're, they're no, just they like don't. Have, they don't, but this right here is when it's fresh, a little bit more fresh. This right here, you pull it out of the middle of the yucca plant, and you can actually use it to start a fire on some sage. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't think this is. Because I know yucca pretty well. But this is the thing, it's dead. It is dead, and the thing is, the whole thing from, oh, well, it's not dead, it's alive, but I mean, these things can take their intake of sun and water and everything and, like, specify it to one spot. That's why yeah. huh. there's just, like, tips, you know? But, like, see, there's another one over there and all these ones that you're going to see up here and everything, and, and uh, you, you can see the growth, but uh, they, they, you could be correct, absolutely. Uh, when, we, when we go up here, there's, like, on the right side of this little hut this guy built, there is uh, two big nails stuck in the in the, uh, in the wood. And when we first got there, he sprayed like a clear coat over them. But we found about two scorpions about this long, and they were like white with like crazy red tails, and like they were just badass looking, but scary. I well, mean, like and what they were stuck to those nails? Yeah, I had a nail stabbed right through them into the wall. Like, and they weren't crushed. They weren't nothing. They weren't, I mean, because, and those things are tough, too, because one was by my house the other day. I have a three-year-old here, mind you, people, so um, <laughs> I don't like killing things, but I'm not going to have any of that shit around my daughter. Oh, absolutely. So I went like this and stomped on it because it was by my porch, and it crunched and got up and ran away. So, oh my um, God. yeah, so I don't know what, I, yeah, I guess a nail was possibly needed, you know? Wow. They're pretty big out here. But why would he... Is that some sort of totem? Is that some side of a I don't know, man. And like ritual said, or something? The, the cross that's out here too, it's positioned a certain way. He can put it any way he wanted to. And the way he had it angled is just... It's weird. <laughs> it's real weird. Wow. Yeah. Oscar, you doing good back there? Yeah. Yeah, but... I guess earlier when I was saying have people, if they want to come see this place coming through or whatever, talk to me first. I'll take them out here or my younger brother can. Just for, I guess, safety issues. Sure. I don't want anybody coming out here and getting hurt. Because there is no cell reception out here. Unless you've got, you know, Verizon. Verizon, hey. Verizon. And how far is the closest hospital? Uh, well, there's like a little teeny clinic here, but I mean, if you need a hospital to like, you got a broken arm or something, Vegas. 
Vegas, so that's an hour and a half. Yeah. Damn. That's why I usually carry that little spear I made around. Ain't no snake catching me up out here. Hell no. <laughs> or mountain lion, or I guess. Random traveler. Or anything, <laughs> yeah, random traveler, or foxes, or uh, coyotes. Jay, look over on the left, there's some stacked rocks and this red rock right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, someone's stacking. Yeah, and that's the guy that made his markers. Made him. Oh, so this is, so we're starting to see signs of his activity. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. He also left money here. Money? Yeah, he left money. He left $3.22 here, and then I found one bullet shell, and it was an AR-15-223. Holy shit. So that weirds me out. $3.22 shell, two twenty three, same floor as back. Oh. There's a lot of shit, like I said, that's weird about this place, but I... I don't know, I, I would look at myself as quite intelligent, and uh, I like learning and stuff like that, and I have OCD. Me too. I was diagnosed when I, with ADHD since I was a kid and shit, so I tend to overthink things and overlook everything, from my outfit to what damn milk to buy and what's the best quality for the cheapest price, and it sucks. It's really time consuming. <laughs> right. Finding this place, I thought about a lot of shit, man. <laughs> I thought about a lot of what if's this, what if's that, why is this, why is that? Sure. So when we get up here, I'll, I guess, spill out some more of my theories. Cool. Yeah, I'd like to know more about this guy's activities, and especially at the hotel. And left no trace. I didn't find one damn nail. I didn't find one screw. I didn't find any sawdust. I didn't find a damn cut piece of wood or anything. And this I is not... No power out here. No power. This whole thing he built by hand. No power tools. And this is not an easy trek. I mean, here. It's crazy. No, we no, can't even the see the hotel. The hotel's right there. Oh, there's the ranch across from the hotel. And guys, this is what he did out here. This is not easy. Weeks, straight. Morning, when it's dark, till when it's dark. No he came out here and did this. And he and he walked all of his shit out here. You can't drive a... Well, you could drive a truck out here. But he didn't. But he didn't. No, you see the fence. It was unbroken. Yeah, good point. Good see, point. On, see way up on top of the hill? Say it again. See how way up on top of the hill there? Yeah. My square little plant up no. there in the dead center in the middle? Oh, yeah. That's my marker. Ah, okay. Yeah, you ain't going to see it. I don't know if the listeners or the viewers could see no, that. But yeah, but that's my, that's my marker. And then after this little bend here, it goes right around and it's going to be, it's right over here. We're getting real close. We're probably about within five minutes from it. Yes. Well, like I said, I got some water there. It might be warm, <laughs> but it's water. How do you keep the water from uh, getting, like, funky? Do you put, like, those chlorine tabs in it, or...? Hell no, I just put water in a gallon and just make sure I drink it enough. And really? Re and re exchange it, yeah. But, like, this guy, man... Oh, dude, it's just so amazing. When, you, when, I, when we actually get there, I'll show you the area on top of how much work he actually put into this place. Because what he said to us before he left is, well, my project's barely done he's like i gotta leave but i guarantee it'll be there for over a hundred years wow and the way that he built this guarantee it's probably gonna be longer than that before this damn thing falls down i can't wait to see this the way he built the the everything like the 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 studs and, and the and the the poles that go into the ground to hold the roof up and everything like he he made them with hooks so they they grabbed the dirt wind bad wind and stuff like that it's not gonna pull it out. There's cement. I mean, he moved rocks that are probably 500 pounds. And like, hundreds of them. I'm telling you, the amount of work this guy did, and there's the uh, cross right there. See it? Dark red. See his two trees? Yeah, see the one right behind it? Right in front of it. Oh, I see it. Okay. All right, so about what, 100, 150 yards away. Ish, yeah. Ish, yeah. You're right. I don't know if the viewers can see that. And then now you can probably see the thing a little bit better. Right there. You're right. On There's a, that. and it looks like that's your marker. Square. Yeah, that's well, that's my mark, and that's how. And honestly, when I came out here, I just followed my friends, and I just followed what I know from being in the wilderness and shit. I found it within 15 minutes, you know. So how did you find out it was out where it was? He just said it was out. Yeah, then out how? here. He did, I just found it. Oh, you were just stumbled upon it. Yeah, I just, well, I mean, I, I walked straight up to the damn thing. What was your initial reaction? What the fuck? When you say... <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why would you just spend $600 of your own money two weeks out of your time busting your ass from fucking... Especially when he was in between tonight. union jobs. Yeah, he was in between jobs. I mean, who knows? Maybe 
he was a hard worker that just wanted to keep himself busy. Or maybe he, you know, killed someone. Who knows? Or maybe he, you know, had a death. Maybe he was a backpacker a long ass time ago and had a death of someone and he took all their stuff, his memorabilia, buried the body out here somewhere and maybe came back to get closure and make amends with some demons or something. I mean, there's a lot of theories that you could have about this place, but we'll never really know the truth. The right. guy is gone. We do have his ID on file. You do? And his name. Well. And everything like that on file as well, but I'm not sure because of confidentiality. With the hotel. Yeah. And, yeah. And my mother-in-law, Pam, she's a hard ass, so. <laughs> you should contact him and see what's up. If it was me, I would just give you the picture. <laughs> Sean, I'm gonna kill the video because I have to switch battery. Yep. But li watchers, viewers, listeners, whatever, we're almost to the cross. So next time we uh, come back, we'll be at the site. Can't seem to face up to the facts. I'm tense and nervous and I can't relax. Can't sleep because my bed's on fire. Don't touch me, I'm a real live wire. Maybe, well, it seems like some sort of redemption thing. It's a Christian, you know, Christians are all about redemption. And maybe that was his two weeks out here was his punishment for whatever he did. But, yeah. um, maybe DUI, he had a, you know, killed, maybe he killed somebody while drunk driving. Maybe, or maybe he killed someone a long time ago. Maybe he like, you know, hit a, hit a biker on the road and just drove off or hit a little kid and, you know, drove off and felt guilty about it and was eating him up. And this was his repentance for, I like that theory. you know, something, something like that. Possibility that here. He stayed here for two weeks and he came out here. Uh, it was it was early in the morning, it would still be dark out and he'd come out here and then he wouldn't be back until 12, 1, 2 in the could, morning. Could you explain what the guy looked like? I honestly, I really didn't see much of him. He had blonde hair. He kind of seemed just like different, man. Like just off. Like as far as off, I mean like a couple, where, where I'm from, the city and stuff like that, there's a lot of drug addicts and shit like that. So like I, mean, I can point a crackhead out from a meth yeah, head exactly. from a heroin addict, you know what I'm saying? And, and like some of those signs showed with him, but it seemed more of like not druggies. It seemed more of like a mentality thing, you know. But like it was just it was just weird, man. He had a weird vibe, but I mean he wasn't really necessarily mean right. or anything like that. Because I didn't talk to him much. Like I said, I'm maintenance, so I just I fix shit, I don't, I don't break shit. So, <laughs> so I mean, um, as, as far as like talking with him that much, I didn't know much about him. It was a lot of hearsay from Lindsay and Pam, my wife and. and Making these guys let's see what else. Stuff. Yeah, let's oh, see. Because you said it gets even weirder. Yeah, but anyway. So now we're approaching his shack, apparently. But anyway, all of this right here was all man. All of this. He moved all this, and here's a trench that he dug to go around this spot. Wait, are you saying that this wooden structure with hair all over it is not a natural? Structure? No, fool. He's talking about the rocks and the. All of this up. But anyway, this is what was up. This was a lot. This is it. <laughs> oh, we got some animal. That's our our little chipmunk. Oh, oh. oh. easy, Joe. Don't crush him. He's just too. Yep, yeah, I have a lighter up here too, just in case. Uh, there he is. Let me try to get him. Oh, whoa, jeez. All right, I'm back in the chase, room. Chase him back. You need to jump at my eyes. But anyway, we came up here. Yeah, to the so table. While, while they dick they, around with this, the lizard, this table was up here, and then this chair was over behind here. Hey, we got him. But if you if you look at this though, like this, it's perfectly escapable. You can see every way that the way it's built. And this thing, dude, it's not going. Anywhere. Yeah, it's in the concrete. He moved all of these rocks by himself. Nice. All of this up here. Come here, real quick. Look at this, dude. All of this he dug out. All of this. So it would never flood. Never flood. And like Did if you, you see that pipe down there too for drainage? Yeah. yeah it's crazy. And and if you see if you go up here, you can see like the whole area that you dug out and everything. It started, it's an outpost, dude. It started way up here. This is where you started. And everything is up here. All of this.
this work, all of this flattening, all of this rock laying, and then the trail he built to go up to the cross. And oh yeah, right. You know what he did? Like for like when the water comes down, it's gonna naturally form. You know, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, I know. And like I said, this is too, this is what you know. You're a hard worker. I mean, this is what two weeks of busting your ass day and night can build you. You know, something cool like this out in the middle of nowhere. You know. But anyway, this. Is, In the desert heat, nonetheless. Yeah, and how is he moving these these 200-pound rocks? Yeah, that's not that bad. <laughs> and the guy was the guy was smaller than him. Smaller than Joe, for real? Yeah. Anyway, right here, this is where these scorpions were, but animals obviously ate them and whatnot, you know. But you can see the spray that he put on them is a, a clear yeah. You can see discoloration. To preserve the wood. them. Obviously, he was about America, because right here too. God bless America, across. So I took colored pencils up and tried to do some little doodling. <laughs> when did he do this? How long ago? A few months ago. Probably. So we're in August 2017. Oh yeah, look. Oh, see, he, he put a pipe underneath all of this. Yeah. So he moved all those rocks. Yeah, Where's the pipe, Joe? It's right down there at the bottom for the I know. I mean, that was a pain in the ass to do. But all of this was moved by him. Every fucking rock here. Right here. So there's a pipe right there. To, to Why don't you hand him the camera so you don't have to go down if you want, or I can bring sure. it to me. Yeah. Like, oh, here you go. Nope, I don't want to hold it. It's worth money. <laughs> wow. So yeah, he moved all those rocks. Now, Sean, this is not like this isn't weird enough, but does it get weirder than that? Yes, it does. It gets very, very weird. And that's <laughs> what I'm about to show you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shit. And that is. There's discoveries to be made here. This is the rock. All these rocks were perfectly on this, and me finding this first. You thought I freaked out? I thought it was a body. A body. Absolutely. Look it looks like a body. Street. But anyway, I'm gonna lift this up. Joe, let him. And I'm gonna search through this and show you guys some stuff because I figure, oh, some dude doing his thing. Do you think there's they, rattlesnakes there? There might under there? be a snake yeah, under yeah, there. Sean, I'm gonna. Okay. Right. Fuck a snake. But this is the thing, though. Um, keep holding that. Keep holding that back with that. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit, dude. Keep, yeah, keep going. Pull it, pull it all, pull it off. Just pull it yeah. off, dude. Just, just pull it, pull it right there, yeah, because I'm going to put it back together and shit, because I want to respect someone's artwork. I'm going to, I'm going to touch your but, back and that, there you go. But look at, like, some of this stuff, dude, this is not something that guy would have. This is, look at pads. This is a woman's bag. Holy shit. So what the fuck? Woman's clothes. Yeah, and it's a full traveler's pack, and look at it, it's old as fuck, weatherized as hell, you know? I mean, like. Look, little stuffed animal. I mean, this was some. This was a person. Joe, I mean, what's in there? Oh, bag? you think a guy wears one of these? Maybe. Did you look through it? Don't for an don't ID stick or your hand. I looked. The snakes hide and all that stuff. I looked through that bag that's open. That's the zippers open. The zipper. Yeah. What was in there? Just chick stuff. Weird yarn stuff like that. Thread stuff. I mean, I found some lighters. And whatnot. I think Dude, I just got the chills. Hardcore. I think we should go through every scrap of this right now. Dave, I just got like I'm getting that thing. Anyway, I guarantee they didn't find it. Right? This is a. It's a memorial to something. Well, I mean, the harp with wings. I mean, the... Why is there a women's pack over there with pads and clothes? Oh, all this ground on her. That is so much work. Do you I'm think... Sorry. Yeah, no, dude, like I said, he was there for two weeks straight doing this shit, man. Only day and night. Well, like, all early... Long, uh, yeah, darkness and to darkness. if you see all of the supplies and everything like that, this was guaranteed out here. That was guaranteed out here. Random Tink trinkets and shit you're going to see, like, around a bottle or a can at the All of this, they're cutting. I mean, well, yeah, and then scraps. to frame it out in metal there are, too. There are scraps. No scraps. No, there are. Guess where they are? Where? They're in the hot tub up by our whole fucking hotel. He carried every single piece of everything back. What? The fuck? He could have carried everything for this, right? And it would have been fine. No, it would have never came up. It would have been just scrap. No, he decided to do that and carry it all the way back twice the amount of work. So this obviously meant something. All chick clothes. Dude, that's a bra or like a undershirt, like a kit. Oh man, dude. Okay, are these guy socks? Well, those are. I, I was gonna say Dave wears those. <laughs> she should have used this. Dude, are they kids' clothes? No. No, it's a young teen. Kind of looks like that. Gutter punk. No, no, that's a. That makes it less like, ominous. Would it, be, would it be wrong if I took this because it's useful? Well, up to you. Nope. 
Watch out for a fucking rattlesnake. Oh, he's, such an ass. he's such an asshole. Oh, what the fuck? I never believe You know, there's four of us here. Yeah. Uh, I believe you under. Yeah, right. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, he'll have a better tour next time. Uh, yeah. So these are what are these tent poles? Here? Yep. Like I said, it's a, it's a canvas bag, and these poles were like this. They're all like. Look at, I mean, small size. What's that? Jewelry. Is that a wallet, dude? What is this book? <gasps> that's what I was looking at too. What is that, dude? Oh, that's. Show it to me. Nothing, nothing creepy at all. The devil's closet. Oh my god. Wait, I need. I want to take a picture of that. I can. You can put it on the floor if you want, David. One twenty-five is a good deal, though. Uh huh. Joe, are you getting vibes or anything, man? So no, I'm not, but tarp. something, I, this is another thing I'm kind of feeling, maybe. What's that, tape? Yeah. Duct tape? Is it duct tape? Yeah. It's fucking duct tape. Wrapped up. What if, um... How do you bind people? Well, you, but duct this tape. Looks, what this if looks whoever like... this was was into some, you know, darker stuff? I mean, if he's a hardcore Christian, and he, you know... And, they, maybe they repented it and this is their... Uh, and maybe it was like a prostitute or something that he killed. Oh my god. It's repent. See, there's all your fucking pads and Sean, shit. Sean, this is crazy, man. Yeah. But I mean... So pick up that those, pick that up ain't those no, jeans. See how big the jeans that are. Ain't no, give us they're a chick jeans. You can tell by the pockets. Oh, yeah, but pull, pull, pull yeah you're right. So the pockets. See how small the, that was a small person. Well, I mean, these are like what, that's size a, 10s, That's a size teen six. woman or young teen, man. You don't know what they But look, they would fit me at length. So Oscar, you're saying it's not a young woman? These are probably like, you know, like, I don't know, 20s, I'd say, maybe. Who knows, though? Who, who knows? Some, some ladies that you meet that are 50 and they like to dress like Yeah, you're right. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Super glue, fins, lighters, more super glue, old Crown Royal bag. Anything in it? No, usually drugs are in there, but guaranteed those are gone. Where did you find the money? <laughs> the money was over here. Oh, in the shed? Yeah, but the reason why people usually leave money at a bug out spot or anything like that is because when people find money, they usually want to take it. Right. So that way you can sense if someone's been here or not. Good point. I Smart. took it. The thing that happens <laughs> No, I took it because if, if he comes back here, I want him to know that I fucking know where his spot is. Uh, this is the thing, is this bag does not look like it's only been here for a few months. You know, this bag looks like it's been... Like, or he's held on to years. Or he's held on to it for years. To you know what? Sunglasses, a rope. You know what? Tons I guarantee you. I was thinking too, because that's sun weather. This that's bag, sun yeah, this rotted. bag has that's been exposed for at least three or four years. Well, oh, or yeah, more. Yeah. Or more, but also out here, like as an example, like if I'm gonna have a beer somewhere every now and then, sometimes a bottle cap will get on the ground and within a week it's rusted and nasty. Well, really? like another thing what people do is they'll kill people, yeah, and bury them out they'll here kill in the middle them, of behind a hotel. Freezers, okay? You could freeze them for like I don't know, however long you want, twelve years, twenty years, whatever, like two months. You leave them in the middle of wherever. Once the body defrosts, it looks like that's the time of death, you know? So mm. that's a young person. No, it could be for an eyeliner. That's an that's eyeliner. Oh, really? Yeah, it's an eye. It's, it, I mean, obviously, clearly a woman's. It's been here for years. Yeah, and then, it, ain't no, it ain't no kids. And then and it's ironically, the there's a shrine that comes up next to this dump site. But also, a kid's not going to be backpacking like this. Oh, shit. You know what? A runaway, maybe? No, not, Everything like, not like this. Not what, the, one guys? what? Okay. Have you talked to the previous owners? Of this place? Yeah. No. How do we know that this guy wasn't building this place for years? Well, in the two weeks you saw him here was just him putting the finishing touches on it. Did you see him bringing all the stuff back here? Stuff is our, behind our... our Because I remember him asking, hey, if I clean up some of the stuff back there or whatever, can I have a few scraps or whatever? And, and Pam was like... Sure. Free work, go ahead, take whatever, dude. <laughs> There's like, makeup here. But I wonder if this bag makeup. Is oh, here. what's in here? What's in there? Yarn and stuff. A sewing kit. Thread, I wonder if buttons. this bag has been sitting here. A little needle punch. Oh, really I was like making sure it wasn't them. a bag of cocaine or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jay? Yeah. I think this bag might have been sitting here for a few years. Or right. he's And been then he came back it. and built this up around it. Or he's been carrying it for years. No, because this, I mean, this looks like it's been down on this ground here. Yeah, with the sand. For a while, like. Joe, now, is there anything under I mean, the, the blanket where you're, pull, the, apart pull the blanket back a little more. CSI, Sunset View. CSI, Sunset View in. 
You know, I mean, I'm kind of getting a little bit what Dave's talking about. This, this, I this, think this, this has been, been weathered. I mean, it looks like it's been weathered here, okay? The previous owner, you know, after it switched hands, then he came back. I mean, you, no one would know, you know? Well, who, makes who knows, though? Maybe, it, like I said, oh, Charles, I mean, it's, it's leading to something like that. I agree as well, because that's what I was thinking some of the, uh, along the lines of that, like maybe, like I said, they were hiking before there was a lot of action in this area or something, or maybe they were, you know, and someone, or maybe he got mad and fucking killed them because they got in an argument or something and right. left the body out here and then came back and looked like almost imagine like a tiger and then, you know, the guys, the guys like super Christian crazy guy that's like, you know, you need to repent and then he's got like this sexual frustration too and tries to do something to her and she fights back and he chokes And then the years guy. later he comes back with remorse. Like, yeah. Sure. what this is but man it is it is creepy creepy shit i mean look at that that ain't that ain't happening all of that walkway right there that he that's i mean none of it is and see the next thing is though is that i would like to get some manpower and shovels and see what's under this hell yeah why not Yeah, she said she had a feeling that the police didn't even really truly find it. No, but there is something with this place out here. I don't know necessarily what it is, but I mean, it's definitely weird. Yeah, I definitely get chills out here. Yeah, I got, when you pulled that back, when I saw the doors closing, boom, it hit me. Dude, imagine seeing that And I never get time. feelings. Yeah. Huh? And it was Coming me. up here, seeing it for the first time. Yeah, man. It was me. I would have went oh, flying shit. back. Oh my God. No, I looked it up because, you know, I got I to I gotta make sure people are all right, too. You know, I can't just. So I stayed out here and looked at stuff for a while and looked at all the work he did. I stood up on the hill and actually got a good look of all the... I mean, this guy put so much work in out here and, like, it's not just a coincidence of... Well, you said you have his license and ID without saying it on the show or anything on the, on the YouTube uh, video. Google it yourself. Track that guy down and ask. Like, and, and then my other question would be, what the fuck? My other question would be, if he was up to something nefarious out here, why leave his freaking ID? Yeah, to the room. Uh, Not and think no one would this discover is it. Good. I did. Right, this is what this is what you need to do. Check this out. There might be evidence. I mean, maybe not. But there was a male with her. No, it's female. Women's razors too. They're probably just. Well, he's I mean, he's assuming by pink and green, Dave. That's all. Yeah, yeah but I mean, also green. sometimes like my wife, she'll like go and grab, like at the Dollar Tree, they sell these six blade razors, and sometimes they only have pink, sometimes they only have yeah. blue. So I mean, if they right. got a pink right. one, I'm fucking. It, 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 it. No, but I it was mean, definitely they, they, worth they pointing out. Yeah, they they could have had a you know, boyfriend, husband. But no, I believe stuff. that as well, though, because I mean, <laughs> I don't see, I don't know, maybe it was him. Maybe it yeah. was her, maybe it was his wife a long time ago. And like I said, maybe what you been. what you need to do is you need to get a hold of this guy and yeah, literally he's straight, crazy. Up, straight up ask him what the fuck is this out here. Another thing, did you kill like literally just ask him? DNA. Have him have him explain. You know, maybe it. they could extract something from the razors. Good point, Joe. You know what I mean? And maybe, maybe do another follow up person. with the police, man, and just be like, hey, because the police obviously didn't. Because if these were used, stuff. you're gonna have. Now, Sean, this is not uh, Sunset View in property, correct? No, this is BFE, man. It's not anybody's property here. Okay, okay. I mean, this is past the fence line. This is state property. It's not government property, you know, so. But before we go, though, if it's all right, I would like to cover this back up and stuff. Yeah, Put yeah. the rocks back on just because I want to leave it like that. Absolutely. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what to think about it. And, like, it's something that's been in my back of my head as, as well because, like, when we discovered this place, it was a little while ago. But, like, discovering this, I mean, it it means something to me it's creepy to me i mean i want to know about it i'm intrigued by it and like it just seems like everybody that i talk to and, you know everybody's Dude. like whatever yeah, what it's nothing that doesn't happen to a shoe in three months no you're right 
It's like shrink, shrinky dinked. Shoot. Wow. Yeah, but the sun will do that, man. I left a hat out here one, or my sandal out here one pool. For one time, I was swimming in the pool with my daughter, and my sandal is just a regular little Nike sandal, just the regular flap over the front. And that damn thing within three hours was bent like this <laughs> in the sun. Yeah, so I'd like wear them. Yeah, we're not there. used to this intensity. But I mean, we don't really know what it could do in what amount of time. Well, the, and the stories and the theories are literally endless. So, I mean, maybe Holy some of your people that are watching can come up with something as well. Oh, yeah. If anyone's familiar with anything about this story, write us submissions at sos-radio.com, 872-529-0SOS. Call us, email us, let us know. But for now, we're going to let Sean cover it back up. Sean, I thank you very much. Not a problem That was super cool. Uh, sad, but super cool. Um, Weird. Guys, any last words, quick last words? Because we got to get going. Oscar, no. Oscar just wants to go. He don't care. 1244. Well, if we leave at 1, 130, we're all right. Yeah, it's like I said, about 15 minute walk back. But all right. I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, Sean. That's cool. Thanks, everyone, for listening to the SOS-Radio Podcast. Search SOS-Radio Podcast on iTunes and give us a rating. Download our free mobile app by searching Supernatural Occurrence Studies on Google Play, Apple App Store, and Amazon App Store. Visit us online for ghostly photos that coincide with our podcasts, videos, and other exclusive content at sos-radio.com, chicagosos.com, and supernaturalocurrencestudies.com. Follow us on Facebook at sos-radio.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Chicago Ghosts. Subscribe to the Chicago's own Supernatural Occurrence Studies YouTube channel for exclusive video content. Follow Jason Knight on Google Plus. That's Knight, N-H-Y-T-E. Email us at submissions at sos-radio.com and call or text anytime at 872-529-0-SOS. That's Chicago's area code, 872-529-0767. And as always, kind listeners, keep your head up, eyes open, and question everything. You ought to save your soul from hell riding on our range. Cowboy, change your ways today. With us, you will ride. Ride that you never turn.